What is up everyone? Mike here, KDM RD Radio Stuff. Today I want to show you a secret about the DX Commander that I don't even know that Lord Callum himself knows. He probably does because he's a pretty smart guy, but I legit have not seen anyone do this. I figured this out when I was building my DX Commander a year and a half or so, however long it was ago, and I just never did it until now. It's a way to add another element to any DX Commander, whether it's the Expedition, the Classic, the Rapide, the Nebula, whatever, I'm gonna show you how to get more bananas, more wigglies, and hopefully more contacts, because we're gonna have one more band on our DX Commander. So let's hop over to the bench, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'd like to say thank you to these guys. They're my newest members over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, please head over to patreon.com slash radio stuff. Now when I built my DX Commander, I did, my feed point a little bit different than what I've seen just about everyone else do and I simply put it on the bottom okay for the sole purpose that I just thought it looked cleaner and I actually thought of this a couple years ago when I built this antenna but that leaves this completely untapped for another element so I'm gonna switch this I'm gonna put this wing nut back on top I'm gonna leave my feed point underneath and that's gonna give us a new point to attach another element and I'm going to make an element for 12 meters right now because the bands are getting better and I'm hearing stuff on 12 meters and I want 12 meters so that's what I'm going to do but if you wanted to do this for six meters I suppose you could do this too it's a little tight right. we'll do it the way the DX commander intended sort of Put our feed point back here. Brilliant. Now, we have another radiating element spot. Ta-da! Next, we have to address the bottom spreader plate and the upper spreader plate. So, these three bigger holes are for the guy rings. This smaller hole next to this is for that a 10 meter thing. So all we're gonna do is make another hole here. And I'm using a 17 64 inch drill bit. I'm just gonna drill another hole right there. I'm gonna drill a little pilot hole first though. Easy peasy. Beautiful. Now we can match up the orientation from the bottom spreader to the upper spreader. I'll put just a little mark there. And uh, this is gonna allow us to attach the clips here. That's why we're drilling these holes. One, the, well, the, the element's gonna go through this hole and then we need a doingy to attach uh, to this one. And now we have a complete set. Next, we need to prepare our wire. Now, this is for 12 meters, so we really need about three meters of wire. So I cut this to three meters, 20 centimeters, which is about 10 feet, six inches, because I want to have it a little bit long, and we also need to make a loop to connect it to the doingy. So we're just going to slide this in, and we're going to crimp. couple times and then I'm gonna solder this and make sure you don't do what I did you want to put your heat shrink in first uh, on the shorter elements like this it's okay but when this is like a 40 meter element and you got to slide this heat shrink tubing uh, all the way from the other side it's not fun flow yes let the solder consume you that looks good and if you really want to be spiffy, you can add these little numbered beads to all of your elements so you can remember which element is which. And those are just secured on with a little more heat shrink. And now that that's done, let's go out in the field and tune it up. And just like that, we are back at the proving grounds. So let me show you what I did. I got the whole thing set up and let's see what it looks like. Still have to tune it though. All right, so here is the driven plate. And you can see I've got all the wires attached. Here's 17, 10 meters, 40 meters. Here's our new 12 meter element. And here's the 20 meter element. And here you can see, this is our 
driven connection thingy. And just by me reversing this, we now have 12 meters. So we're going up through the hole we just cut. You can see my label for 12 meters. And then we're gonna go up here and I just added another doingy. And I just folded this over about four inches, uh, which I suspect is probably still gonna be way too long. I cut this eight inches too long. I cut this 3.2 meters, which is 10 feet, six inches. And then this doingy just goes up to our top spreader plate, just like that. So now I'm gonna set the antenna up, put the radials out, hook up the coax, we'll hook it up to the analyzer, we'll see where it's at. And isn't she just beautiful? Look at all of those elements. Oh my gosh. That is antenna sexy if I've ever seen it. All right, so let's take a look. I have not looked at this. I'm aiming for 24,940. So let's see where we're at. Yeah, figured it's long, we knew that. But let's see where it's resonant at. Way down here. Okay, so we gotta cut off a few inches. All right, well I had to cut off a lot more than I anticipated, probably cut off about a foot and a half. But uh, let's show you what we got. 24940 is what we were aiming for. And look at that. Boy, it doesn't get much better than that. So it's not a big band. It starts at uh, 24890 and ends at 24990. But look at that. That's just wonderful. So there you have it, gang. The DX Commander with the K8 MRD mod. Just something I wanted to whip up real quick and show you. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the thumbs up, share it. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at K8MRD. If you want to support the channel, if you appreciate the content that I'm producing, you can, you can help me out on Patreon. There's a link down below. And uh, until we meet again, we'll see you again on another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.